Hello everybody, um, today we're going to be unboxing a, uh, a new IP phone I bought, and of course they don't have my knife again, so we're just going to be using a flathead screwdriver to uh, open up the box. Uh, sorry if you can't see it very well, it's gonna, let's see how it's going to be. This is also, I'm literally recording this on my floor, like I always will, because it seems to be my best spot I can do this. Literally, even though I didn't know whatever. So this is a phone I ordered is a Cisco. Oh no, the phone I ordered is a Cisco eighty-eight forty-one. It is the enterprise model, but you know what you're doing. You can uh, you don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna go to sip and stuff. Alright, here it is. Okay, I don't know if packing peanuts go anywhere. Whatever. Well, now I have a box of packing peanuts. And there seems to be nothing else in the box. Alright, so. I stopped the recording because I couldn't figure out how to get all the tape off of it. I figured it out now. Alright, so I have the cans of cables right here. So let me get the uh, stand on. It's uh, in pretty good condition. Yes, I knew that this part comes off. Alright, so let's oh, oh there we go. And this goes into here. Under here, and yes, this is actually the longer side, so it's a little weird, but whatever. If I wanted to, okay. this is actually the third IP phone I've ever owned, but it's actually going to be. I have the, the two IP phones that I have owned in the past are the same model. They're the Cisco Spa 504Gs. So now I actually have something different. So most likely going to replace the phone on my desk. But uh, I don't know yet. I haven't made my decision. I'm not sure why I'm messing with this. Let me get an Ethernet cable. I'm just gonna grab an orange one because I just have that one here and I'm gonna use to plug it into the uh, PUE switch. Alright, there we go. And I'm gonna plug this in to the port that it goes in. I believe it's this one. Yeah. It. 
think it's not. Yeah, it's probably not deep enough, so, you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cable Cisco Energy Star. So Cisco. Alright, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for it to boot up. I could peel the peel, but I'm not gonna do that yet. It's a very nice phone. I really I really like how these phones look. I'm not sure about you guys, but. Again, this is the A841. That's nice. Go on. Oh, I can't go into settings. Get settings. Open tone. This is the unboxing of the uh, Cisco 8841, and I'm gonna figure out how to set it up. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Alright, everyone. Now that it being almost a week later after recording the unboxing, I've got everything. Uh, it actually, I actually got it set up the same day, but I'm just gonna talk about some things. So, this image, by the way, is not default. It's a custom one I put on here. Here's, that's, this is the default one. That's the default one. I got, I put a custom one on there, so if you wait for it to load for my TFTP server over here. And yes, you do have to have a TFTP server always open for it. It's really stupid and really annoying, but that's how these enterprise models work. At least with the enterprise ones, you can have multiple images in the menu that you can change to. So I'm gonna wait for it to set. There we go. So, I don't have any of the line keys program. These are just the stock ones from the template. So the way you get the template is we're just gonna, what I'm gonna do actually is, all right, so, just go into phone provisioning of an extension. As you see, the model selected right now is a 7941. Although this is an 8841. Once, and then you'll hit okay. So when you add one, you select, you go in here and you select your model, so 7961 for example, and you enter the MAC address and then it'll pop up here. And you hit OK. So then it generates this provisioning link. When you open it up, it has a generated XML for you. So I forget how to do it, but there's a way. There's a way to download it, I think, is it to right click on this? I forget how to download, there's a way to download it, because control A, con like, copying all of this, just pasting it isn't the best. So. Let's see, um.
Um, yeah, that's that. I forget where I clicked though. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember how I downloaded it, but we, but we actually we ended up downloading it. And if I go into the folder, put this is literally all the ringtones and stuff. Sorry, let's see, can I open that? The raw files. Let's try to open them in Audition. Let's see, can I listen to it? Oh, it's gonna be really quiet because it's coming out of my headphones. Uh, right, a second. Is this thing goes away, there we go. All right, it really doesn't like it, all right. Yeah, those are all that. Here's your ring list. So if I go into this XML, this just shows all of the file names. Actually, no, I think that's actually the wrong one. I use this one, ring list, dash to WB. Yeah, this is the one I use and it has everything there. Here's the XML. I can't show a lot of it because it actually has information I can't show, but uh, this is the XML. You just stick in a folder, and this desktop's folder, this is where you will put your images. I cannot show it, but yeah. And then if I go into edit, that's the XML for the images. So that's what that looks like. So how you set it is over here. So let's close the TFTP server. Minimize these. Wanna, so you have everything in a folder. You open you open up TFTPD. I like to full screen it. What I do is I hit browse up here. Let me close this. I'm hit, you hit browse at the top right. Then you go to where you have the folder that you want a TFTP. Hit OK. Then now you just go to the second drop down menu. Select the IP address of the device that's on your local area network. And then, just go to Log Viewer. And then, just make sure that that is set on the right IP address, which is why TFTP is so weird. But, if I go into Settings, uh, never mind. So, we hit the cog, go to Admin Settings, go to Ethernet Setup, IPv4 Setup, go down a little bit. You're gonna find alternate TFTP mines off for some reason, but you just enter your TFTP your, the uh, TFTP server's IP address. So watch if I if I put 226, which is the previous IP I was using, it's just random. But and now if I put 64, which is actually the IP address I'm using, exit, and now it's gonna try to register again. So now we can look in the log and we can see what pops 